The True Christ The True Christ is Horus or Hercules because Hercules is in the Greek mythology the Egyptian Kemetic god of Heru or Horus <laughs> and Horus or Heru Mount Heru the mountain the volcano the inner world the true Antichrist comes to kill he comes to clean and this is why the true Christ is not about love because if you would raise from the level 33 which is talking about the free man son of the air Freemasonry your spine your kundalini energy your pineal gland your mount Heru Horus you would rise raise even higher like a hawk like a Horus, like a falcon. And then you will see that you could level up even higher outside of your body uh, with your spirit. So you will maybe get to the 42 level, which is for me the 42 laws of Ma'a. And even higher, you know, level, level 43, 44, 45, up to 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And then to the infinity to the one zero one zero to the circle or to the eight which is the infinity loop so the Ouroboros in an eight format which is never ending and see this is why I'm telling you the true Christ comes to destroy and it was never about love it was about cleaning out and that starts obviously with your temple which is your body. This is why I was stressing, you know, fasting and distilled water and sh urine, shivamukapa so much to clean out your vessel very, very fast. But what to do when you cleaned out all the things and you were raising up and you were causing the crown to pop up and you were causing the crown to virus, <laughs> vi viruside here, everything. In order to clean, see, this is the bizarre thing. Because it's basically completely flipped and the other way around. Because in this realm, nothing is real. And you never existed. I never existed. Nothing was actually there. All memories are just things that I was putting together in my mind. What is intelligent? is to mirror myself here to see in the future if i would like to go back into the akashic records of myself and i'm like hey you know what i was doing this i was doing that see and i could go there still i don't know if somebody is even real or if it's all just an illusion of myself which i'm pretty sure it is in this maya realm but i'm doing these mirrors for myself and then if there might be other souls which i could maybe wake up which is, I'm not sure if that really is the case, then the information is out there. And, you know, this is how on the quantum level everything gets changed. But, like I said, um, it seems to me with all the signs and symbols that I'm seeing and with the so-called scientism, which is signs of nature, signatures, which is also talking about magic as a higher science, because magic equals an imagination in your head space, mind space, and then you put these images out. So it could be that it's all a dream and I'm just facing my own shadows. I'm facing myself. And this is what this hell really is. Although you think it could be so lovely, it could be so beautiful. That's not what Jesus will tell you. That's not what Christ will tell you. Christ will destroy and kick your ass. Christ will tell you, you are in a fucking dream. And the, the thing is to get out of here. Sure, you could enjoy this experience once you realize these things. But you only realize them when you face your shadows, when you face your demons. 
And then you may find out that these so-called demons, these so-called black sites are basically your rooted systems with, which give you energy to experience something. So then it's not good or bad. It's about transmutation. It's about an all chemical vessel. And then even higher, you know, to get out of the three realms, you would start to resonate with truthfulness. And then you would attract just truthfulness because you resonate with it. It's about cymatics. It's about alchemy. It's about your gong. Talking about the Falun Dafa. Falun Gong. And I'm not here to miss inform or maybe my Falun is already so crunched up and it's it's in a different format and I was causing maybe a lot of trouble because I was putting in so many different pieces into the Falun but I would say um, Falun Gong is a very good practice that I stay true to and all these other things that then were coming up are maybe just inside of me and Falun Gong helped me and my trainer, you know, Gunther, um, Hanshi, at Ninja Sport Club Hamburg, helped me to um, tap in deep into myself and to find out what lays in my subconscious mind and my subconscious iceberg. And then flip that around and see it. So to basically then destroy the whole thing and to feel <laughs> what this realm really is. It is in Maya, in the illusion. And see, this is why I'm, like, I'm a, so, a social worker. No, not really. I, I would say I'm a shaman, but whatever. I, I mean, what am I really? You know, I have a persona. Everybody has a mask, but on the deeper level, I know that to raise out of here, to, to rise out of here, you go through the deepest parts and the darkest parts of yourself. They are not happy to look at, but once you overcome them, you become even stronger. And I'm really talking about, you know, like <laughs> six months of deeply going in. And this is not like... Like, how could I say it's a, de it's a depression or it's a psychic illness? I don't know. But it felt so long, you know. Although it felt so short because nothing really changes. Once you really wake up, you know that if you, if, if you get that constant observer perception, you know that this is a dream and you construct because you are God. I am God. I am Heru, Horus, Hercules, you know, it's, they are, all these gods are aspects of everybody facing their own self, transmuting different deities and different gods into themselves and becoming them. This is what alchemy does, this is what the highest science is and this is why I tell you, you know, it's it's not about staying on one specific diet. If you like that diet, sure, you can play that character, that deity for the rest of your life. But in my case, I know how the blueprint is. And the blueprint is that a specific diet causes a specific deity. So if you might ingest, for example, more sugars more honeys for me it's palatinosi you know like paladin or palatinos gnos gnosis noses you noses you know my sis you know my bro <laughs> you see that your body functions differently definitely i'm on the constant like sugar high with a low glycemic index and then it, this causes basically another deity in me because i have way more energy and might like another form of energy maybe i'm not like i'm not so focused onto the detail 
onto the really chem level but i'm way more strong in my body so i can mirror something else more out to empower them through the process of looking strong and being strong and having a strong body having things to do you know because this mental aspect although it it definitely functions the mental and spiritual aspect is i was seeing so many different causes that i was causing through my mind um uh, still it's the life is here to experience itself you know and can't this is what consciousness does so enjoy the journey and like i used to say words and mirrors <laughs> stay calm um the true christ was never about love the true christ was about truth and the truth is that you first of all have to destroy everything in order to raise because then you would know and then you start to become really you you get the free dome because you start to see and then you sure you can put different paddings onto myself again you know with different diets and deities but once you've really been free and you can fly literally with your spirit you go through walls then you just know you know this this whole thing here is a maya illusion trap for your genie and even in the other realms there are you know if i would get them my superpowers back is that interesting to me because like i said already all 13 realms so to say i don't know why they're 13 maybe they're even more but it somehow resonates with me that there are 13 different realms where you might get your superpowers including the mind superpowers but beyond this these realms there sits basically the titan realm maybe so to call and this is where the real rulers are like oh should i rule everything is <laughs> mine is that the case maybe it's just like hey you know what even these rulers in that realm i'm like yo have fun with your experience you know but like i said um stay calm and stay mindful or stay mind empty do whatever the fuck you want to do destroy what you would like to destroy and then raise and rise so the titan realm all 13 14 realms I love you. Stay truthfulness. Stay truthfulness. You know, stay truthful. Stay compassionate. Stay tolerant. And stay shaman. Like mind. Kim. Fourteen. We all have melanin, but the comes the physical earth. Now, come to know this, and you can quote me on this. When the true manifestation of Christ comes, the physical earth would cease to be. For the mere fact that we got a physical earth. Whatever um, um, teachers or whatever couldn't have been the true Christ. The Hebrews knew this. The Hebrews said, wait a minute, hold on. We get our origin in Egypt. And the Egyptians knew like everything else. Horus comes. And Horus comes to kill. To kill? To kill. Or well, Horus comes to kill. kill. The true Christ never Taught love. That's some Roman bullshit to keep a people docile. All you gotta do is just take my word for it. You go and study any, you can go to Greek and study Hercules. That's the Egypt, that's the Greek Horus. Mm -hmm. Or Apollo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you can study Horus. Mm -hmm. Or Heru. Mm -hmm. You can find out something about Heru. I'm gonna tell you what this is. You won't find no text in Egypt where Heru is talking about love. 
He who does one thing and one thing only. Avenge his father. He kicks ass. That's all he does. Mm -hmm. He kills motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's, that's what he does. The Greek version is Hercules, which is the same story because he don't do but one thing. From the time he born to the time he died, he kills everything in sight. Cleaning house. So the Hebrews knew. They knew that when they was talking about a person coming by talking about all this love and all this kind of thing, they, uh -uh. they said the true Christ coming back to kill the world. You see what I'm saying? Get the house in order. He's the God of Ecclesiastes with the blood on the sword. He's the God of Revelation. Mm -hmm. They had blood dripping from them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So but the Romans the came of, in. On the end of time. The end of time. That's the only, that's the only time the true Christ can manifest on the earth. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we are all the race of Christ. Christos anointed when we all have melanin. But the Christ that we're talking about here is this seed that I was telling you. Now they have isolated this thing. They can tell you this stuff in science. Mm -hmm. In astrophysics, they say there's a seed mm -hmm. that is is the only thing that is not that is in, this the only thing that's in this universe that's not of this universe. It's up. It's from the outside known universe. Mm -hmm. And when that seed manifests itself, it will explode everything on this planet. And destroy the universe, and we'll go back to the original existence. If any man came saying he was the Christ, he couldn't have been the real one. That's why the Hebrews to this day, whether well, even the converted ones, but they're they, they, they copying the original black ones, they never been witness to the Christ. And the Arabs over there is like, that's bullshit. The Egyptians, that's bullshit. That's Rome and that's Paul in them. Because what Paul in them was trying to do was trying to get the monopoly mm -hmm. on the Christ that everybody in the world had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the Romans say if we can get the monopoly on this Christ, we can rule the world with this thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So they literally tried to corner the market on the Christ that was all around the world. It is irrational for a Japanese man to worship a Jewish savior. It is irrational for a blue black African to worship a white man. Just as it's irrational for an Eskimo to worship a black man where everybody in their mythology got the same Christ. But the Romans came in because they wanted to dominate the world. And they tried to get the monopoly on the Christ by saying that this is the only true Son of God. And, and basically this person just comes up and tell you how to do all this love and all this crazy thing. But guess what? The text came up in 1945. The true Christ, the one that comes from the Coptic Horus. He don't say none of that shit. In the Gospel of Thomas, it was like, which is when they got out of the library, they, they took out a conference of Nicaea. Mm -hmm. It's found in these new te in this text. And, mm -hmm. in, the, in the Gospel of Thomas, he says, um, they say, uh, Christ, tell us what kind of diet you want us to go on. He said, don't lie. Why do what you hate? Blessed is the man who eats the lion. Then the lion becomes a part of the man. Cursed is the man to get eaten by the lion and a man becomes a part of the lion. Uh -huh. He goes on, they say, tell us about the kingdom of heaven. He said, you'll know the, you'll know the end when you know the beginning. She said, you done lost the knowledge to the beginning. They say, they say, well, and then they said, um, they, they told about tell about the end. He said, you know the end if you know the beginning. They said, tell us about the kingdom of heaven. He said, heaven is all around you, but you drunk, you can't see it because you're looking for these two eyes. 
and you ain't looking with the spiritual eye. Mm -hmm. This person in here is a straight up revolutionary. A no holds barred person. They don't even deal with the crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So clearly the text that they dug up in 1945 that dates back to Coptic Egypt and only in the Middle Nether is a totally different thing. And that's the original one before the Romans stole it and turned it into the New Testament. But don't get me wrong, the New Testament got all the stuff in it. It's just that for the first time you can't go by page for page, but you can go into the pages and find the same stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the difference. The Bible is still a viable thing. You just can't go by from A to Z, but you can go into the pages, and it's all there. Mm -hmm. That's this the difference. Doesn't know how to interpret. Yeah, that's the difference. We, you can't go by the basic theology that's drawn up from the Freedmen's Bureau, which is the way they was going to teach slaves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what we still on now. Mm -hmm. Same old good old time religion. It's good enough for me. You can't go by that anymore. Mm -hmm. You have to go, you have to go into the book. That's what Ahmad Elijah Muhammad said. And that's the difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all there. Mm -hmm. Now let me show you the real mystery of the book to make the book comes alive, come alive. Take the book, take some old deity that you're supposed to follow, take him out, and put yourself in the role of the Christ. And that's what the book is originally for. It's a guidebook for your soul, which is the Christ. Yes. So the person that they're talking about in there is you. Old body, new body. Old Testament, New Testament. If you take the book, just as I have done great works, greater works ye shall do. Is it not written in the law that ye are gods, and the scriptures cannot be broken? John chapter 10, verse 34, 36. So it means you're supposed to take the book as an esoteric book. In every way you see Jesus or the Christ, you identify that as your soul. Then the book comes alive. It's just when you start following it and thinking some cracker coming back or some black man coming back. Mm -hmm. Black man come back saying I'm the Christ. I say, okay, good. You take these bullets. <laughs> now you take these bullets and you take them. And don't be on that flow. Then maybe you have a chance. I might follow you. We try to get the universe B. This is universe, this is universe A. We try to get the universe B. Universe B is separated by the black hole. The black hole, the one that is dealing with this, is in Sagittarius. Also the black hole is in the black woman. Your black hole, you know what I'm talking about. The vesica. You see the vesica? The eye that way to see the vesica, which is the vagina. You see what I'm saying? Now, going back, y'all bear with me now, hold on. Because it all adds up. Now, it all adds up. This, this uh, this is Crawley book, only book, Alice Crawley Atlantis, but this is the only book that you can't get. But it, because Alice Crawley explained in here what Atlantis was. The word, the African root Atlas is an offshoot of the range, was the true Atlas supported by the ancient world, by the moral and magical strength, and hence the name Fable Globe Bearer. The root is Lemurian Tala, a talos, which means black, and which would appear in due course. The A is the feminine pretense that derived from the shape of the mouth. Well, there is your vesica also. And uttering the sign, the black woman is therefore the true translation to the word Atlantis. Mm. Mm. Now it's a 
Chris Crown? Chris this is why this shit, this is why this, this is the only one that ain't in print. It's about like that Rudolph Steiner book. The one where they got the Yahoo story, which she set up uh, the, the island of Dr. Moreau with H.G. Wells. His book, The Lancet's in Memoria, uh, Rudolph Steiner, is the only one you can't get. You can get it from health research, but you can't get it. But all the rest of his books is on the shelf. But this is the only Alice Crowley book, one of the few ones that you can't get, because he tell you at the beginning of the shit, the word Atlantis means black woman. And if you really want to break that down, Atlantis is twitch your legs. The word twix ain't no candy bar, it's twitch your legs. Between your legs, twix your legs. The key here is, Dr. Ben said it, that heaven is in between the legs of the black woman. You see? But the original, in the temple of Dendera, the, the original, you see the, the hippopotamus goddess Apit, and then you see this thigh. And they say, we came from the thigh. That's what the Egyptians say, the thigh. The cootie cat, or whatever you want to call the shit. <laughs> Plain old pussy. <laughs> And a nigga done got holy and said the word holy when he's been up in that shit the right way. <laughs> now, there was one story about a brother. He was in there, he was getting some. And the he was in there and his friends came and they had a feather tickling him on the leg while he was getting some. But that brother was doing his leg like this. He was not trying to get him off it though. He was like, fuck that, I ain't getting him off this shit. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, the black hole is also the black woman. And remember they're talking about, I've been telling you that they've been trying to pair the black woman up with the white man? Yes. And remember now, you can't get these latent forces by fucking with Beaver Cleaver. And the brother can't get these latent forces by fucking with Miss Ann. You know what I'm saying? But they even got a new, a new uh, Bell Sock commercial where the little white boy, they're playing goddamn the atomic dog. He said, why must I chase the cat? There's a white boy on the damn couch with a black girl. He talking about some nice cheese. And she can't hear him because the music's so loud and he rings the phone and she pull out her little cell phone. He say nice cheese and she go over and she give it a little white boy. The white boy slide over but they got the atomic dog shit. Why must I be like that? Why must I chase the cat? So they're still trying to make it feasible so the sister can go and goddamn be a cleaver. You see what I'm saying? Or uh, Miss Ann, well, you know, goddamn Miss Ann and won that, that game. Yeah. I will say, in 2000, 2001, that the black man's greatest contribution is he loved that goddamn white woman. That's the greatest contribution to the black man in the motherfucking 20th century is he loved that goddamn white woman. Let's not be funny with this mess. So Miss Ann got him. You see what I'm saying? But the key here is. The parallel universe is there's a black hole, but they got the Sagittarius and, the, and, and remember now they got a hierarchy telling them you better shut shit down because we ride on the verge of some shit. So they get the Sagittarius where the black hole is and they say what? History on hold. You've been hearing this all during the election. History on hold. Now, let's go on. The Book of the Law, which was given by Awas, a, a, a tall black man in his 30s with the face of an African king or a savage king, was Awas that gave the Book of the Law to Alistair Crowley.